All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I want to go over the difference between a knock engineer and a network engineer because I know there's a bit of a difference and a bit of a debate about it, and people are, are asking questions about it. So I just want to make it clear to you guys, just so you guys can see this and just understand and see where I come from. So, um, so a knock engineer. So a knock engineer is an engineer that's like, I would call it like the 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 security guard of the network almost, but not actually doing security work and detecting security threats. But your main role is like you're just you're you're de you're looking over the network. You see any alarms? You see any detections? You see any like issues? Send me like any send me alerts, right? You're just looking for things that are like red flags. Like what's what could that be? So that's mainly what a knock engineer does. They're looking at those little aspects of the network and um, they're just detecting things, right? Um, a network engineer. Um, it's the, well, I'll, I'll go back to knock engineer. So with knock, obviously you're you're detecting the network. You're but you're not really implementing things. You're not really configuring things. You're just mainly the eyes and. In the in the first line of defense, whenever things are look kind of kind of sketch, right? So that's the main role of a knock engineer. However, with knock, there's sometimes there's different levels. Okay, there's like a level one knock engineer who's like the first person who looks at all the alerts, like they'll look through Wireshark and look at all the traffic and see anything that like looks suspicious or like what what's going on here. Uh, but there may be like level two engineers who like who would who can like look like the the knock the the level one engineers will send it to the level two engineers. And the level two engineers will like look at it and maybe if it's something very simple and not that difficult to like kind of fix, um, the level two engineers might go ahead or level two knock engineers will go ahead and maybe fix that issue depending on what it is. Um, because obviously they've been trained on it. They know the network a little bit more and it goes from there. But if obviously if it's a little bit more difficult and they don't know what the issue is, um, they'll probably send it to a network engineer. Okay. And the network engineer, obviously once it gets to, to our point, it's probably like a, a little bit more of a complex issue. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it's very simple, but, um, there, there may be times where it's very complex or it's like, um, you know, it's, 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 it has to do with like multiple pop routers or something that highly complex. So they'll look at it. They'll, you know, they'll review the ticket. Um, usually they'll have like multiple engineers look at it depending on the complexity of it. Uh, so they'll have the engineers look at it. They'll potentially hop on a bridge depending on how time sensitive it is. Um, cause obviously there's some issues that are, customer impacting and there's some issues that are just just non-customer impacting but it's a cause of concern because you're just wondering why the port went down so let's let's just say it's customer impact obviously with customer impacting you know the, the 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 you're losing money the company's losing money so obviously that has to be fixed as soon as you possibly can and it, the way to go about doing this is obviously they'll hop on a bridge call they'll do a whole troubleshooting session and all that but that's mainly what the engineer would do but I just want to go over the whole idea of the difference of the knock and, and a network engineer because obviously as a network engineer, there's different, there's different, there may be di different um, teams, right? So in my company, there's a network implementation team and a network operations team, okay? And to go back to the knock engineers who escalate the tickets, they'll usually escalate it to the network operations team. So the operations team, really their role is to either troubleshoot tickets, um, do very like specific things that are um, have to do with like troubleshooting. It's mainly troubleshooting, I'll be honest. Um, so whenever things go down, uh, whenever there's an outage, whenever there's a customer impact, they'll go ahead, they'll hop on a bridge and fix things, okay? And there's another team within network engineering called implementation, which is what I do. And implementation, I think really what you really do is um, whenever, the, whenever there's a new network design, because we work closely with the planning design team, and really what they do is they'll design a network or whatever there has to be like a new router installed or added uh, augment bandwidth, like increase the bandwidth of, of, a, of a router or a switch. We'll go ahead and do that. So, and that involves a little bit more planning, designing, a lot of logistics involved because we're, we're basically uh, adding to the network. Instead of like fixing the network, we're adding to it. So um, for example, let's say um, there's a new hub build, right? They're trying to build out a new hub at a certain location and they need multiple routers. You'll go ahead and configure all those routers. You know, you obviously, um, follow those, you know, certain guidelines, of course. Um, usually the guidelines are usually set by what, what are called like OEs or like high level network engineers or like CCIE levels who will like design the network for us. And we'll sort of follow those designs based off their guidelines. So we'll configure those things. Um, usually, you know, when we configure, it's very simple most of the time, but, um, you know, obviously we have to check things, you know, we want to make sure as soon as we implement something new, we want to make sure it didn't affect the, the, what it was before. So we'll, you know, we'll do our checks and everything, but that's the main difference. So operations, one side fixes, another side adds to it. So they're, they're like, it's, it's completely different, um, from, you know, what we're doing. So, um, back to knock and back to network engineering, both roles are really good. 
in terms of getting experience in network field. Obviously, knock would be a little bit more beginner friendly. So if you guys are like new to the industry, um, you don't really have that much experience. I would say knock is an excellent role to get into um, and try to like work your way up within knock because I'll be honest, there's some knock people who who are within knock who are 100 100 percent fully capable of being network engineers. So I would say you know if if you're not able to you know get a network engineering role, look into knock. And then potentially, you know, use that as your experience and your leverage to, you know, get uh, to eventually become a network engineer because that's that, that's honestly the best way of getting in. Because as a knock engineer, you're basically like eighty to seventy percent of the way there from being a network engineer, depending on your experience and depending on what you do in that role. So um, I think it's an excellent role to get into, um, and it's like you work hand in hand with engineers. So obviously, you can, you know, speak with them on a daily, you know, ask for them for mentorship, and you can learn more from them. So and I know a lot of people who were in knock who are like really talented, and they are definitely. Um, able to become network engineers. So um, those are the main two differences, guys. Um, like I said, main one side is mainly just like checking things, making sure things are working, you know, um, you know, I and mean, if things go wrong, they'll escalate it to network engineers who will go ahead and troubleshoot those issues. But obviously, there's another team that that's operations. And there may be another team in network engineer who, who only focuses on implementation, which is like adding new stuff to the network, doing upgrades, um, changing the software, things like that. So um, obviously, with the main differences with NOC, they really don't configure the network. They just report and diagnose any issues um, with um, network engineers. And they'll also do a lot of documentation. Uh, with, with network engineers, they'll actually fix the problem, right? They'll actually go and configure the issue, you know. Um, there's, so there's a little bit more stress when it comes to network engineers because there's a lot more responsibility. But obviously, that's, you know, that's with the higher pay, pay grade. That's what you can expect. Um, and going to pay, obviously, NOC pays less than network engineers because obviously there's less responsibility. Um, but overall, I think they're both really good positions. If you guys want to bring to networking, um, obviously network engineer is like a little bit more higher level. So, um, if you guys don't really have that much experience, look into knock as your first uh, way to get in. So those are the main two differences guys. Uh, I want to say thanks for everyone for so much for tuning into this channel. We just hit 500 subscribers and it's just absolutely amazing. So I went ahead and created a discord for you guys. If you guys want to join the discord, it's something new to me. Um, I created, I created some channels, like one for studying, one for career help and one for general. So if you guys are interested, Feel free to join that. Um, and if you guys like the video, give it a like. If you guys want to subscribe and see more videos, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, peace.